Steph Gilmore in the blue jersey, an eight-time world champion and the 2017 world junior champ in the way of Vahine Ferro, a dangerous wild card at this location. A couple of replays here, just surfers feeling their way out this morning. Yeah, no, we've seen it early. You know, the first drop is always important, you know, just collecting in and being able to get yourself comfortable. I mean, you're going to see it kind of come down almost off the reef and they're going to be hollow, but they're going to be the most difficult drops. Uh, it's going to be the most challenging wave to ride. Uh, there's also, you know, coming back onto the reef. That's always helpful because uh, that means it's going to stay wide open like this one. Vahine finds it and finds the exit spit out there. The Tahitian with a strong start again. Remember, she made the semifinals last year, returning with form once again here to Teopo. That would feel really good for Vahine. That's going to be our biggest number of the day so far. Yeah. Big, solid set wave. Good setup. That was a nice, easier drop. And then this wave loads up on the channel. It has extra energy. It's going to stay open. Exactly what happens for her there. Oh, that was amazing. Gotta love it here from love this water angle. Sets it up. See how she grabs the wall here to slow down ever so slightly with both hands. That's what you can do with the forehand to be able to get that maximized two time. But I mean, solid wave. And it had the nice, easier drop. That's a perfect wave for a forehander. And that's what she's identified. That's all that experience on this reef is going to see how she sees these types of waves. It's going to give you up on the top point when you have that kind of south southwest angle. It'll give you a, a nice easier drop on a certain corner of the reef. And then it loads up for the inside reef. That's what this wave did. Extra energy there. Disappears from view. Wasn't the cleanest of exits, and we've seen that today. Uh, there hasn't been that super clean exit, but she saw that this wave was going to have enough of an exit that uh, even a maneuver on the end section as well. Steph Gilmore. Going to go to turns on this one. And just waiting for something to happen and nothing is going to happen for steph gilmore so she's going to kick out and continue searching for a, a meaningful wave and a meaningful score regular season we really bookend the tour uh, the, our 10 stop tour with waves of consequence which is actually a beautiful scenario when you talk about the world's best surfers vahine fiero one of them in the barrel no problem she's going to back up that 7.5 and go out to a huge lead over steph gilmore and Tyler Wright. Yeah, this is one of the things that, you know, as a local, being able to identify those smaller inside waves are still going to give you an opportunity to get something in the good range. You know, a nice little four-footer. They're able to get in and out of the barrel. She's going to get a number. Uh, it's going to be a pretty solid one already and back up the 7.5 and very, very comfortable. Strategically very sound in her approach in this one. You knew that she was going to need to get a backup number outside of priority, which she's done. And now with 17 and a half minutes remaining, she can sit in line and wait it out and try and get herself uh, another bigger number. By the way, the rocker on this Channel Islands boards looks perfectly suited for these barreling conditions. Yeah, you'd be uh, very, very right because uh, they've been working on these boards for this type of wave, the waves of consequence, and being able to be fast through the barrel. So we'll be waiting for that score. We're good. Vahini Fierro, um, likely it was going to combo with the rest of the field. Steph Gilmore now trying to fight back. She's going to go to turns, carve on the back end. And another easy turn on the backhand again before that wave just hits the channel. Once again, but see how the angle is bending out a little bit, but then the water will come back onto the reef. She identifies that before she drops into this wave, and that's where she's in the ability to get these sections kind of bending at her with extra energy. Tyler dragging through that drop, now going to turns, a little caught up there and just was not in rhythm of the way. Something special needs to happen in the play of priority. Speaking of priority, priority getting used now by the heat leader, Vahine Fierro. Just eyeing down the line, back doors into that barrel, and nearly threads through yet another tube, just got clipped on the way out. Man, the goofy footers have identified a place on the reef that you're able to grab those waves with this angle of swell. You get those style of wave. Winner moves on to the quarterfinals, and Obviously, the loser eliminated packing the bags. Yep, yeah, and you don't want that, obviously, if you're trying to clinch a spot in the final five. And this surfer right here is trying to do that. Yeah, just a lot just not going right for Steph. I mean, I think feel Steph Gilmore at this point, as well as Tyler Wright, can use the rest of his heat to just kind of feel out this break and feel out the wave in their position. Just a little extra protection around the, the cheekbones, uh, which is a little helpful. Gilmore couple slashes on the backhand see if she uh, surfs her way out of the combination that she's currently in Tyler Wright being very patient with that priority sitting out the back 
Uh, five minutes? Sure, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, we see, again, Steph, most of the ways she's been able to choose here are just going to give her the opportunities for barrels. You know, maybe the end section might have done. Dominant by the Tahitian wildcard, Vahine Fierro, on to the quarterfinals. We'll see Steph Gilmore, Tyler Wright, later today in the elimination round. We're going to step away and we'll be right back.